What is good guys, we are here with a bit more offensive team at like 3am. For some reason I feel like recording, so let's get into it. Um, basically this team is pretty cool overall. I feel like you have to play well with it though, some matchups are tough. Especially Rain is tough, Sand is also gonna be tough. But Sand is gonna be a bit more okay, like Rain is just super bad. Like Stormbird destroys this team and also Heatune is a problem for this team. But it can, it can be played around, so... Um, I think Lander is a pretty fine lead here actually. Ah, oh, let's just leave it Mage Gem. I'm not. Let's not think too much. Yeah, we just get a free fake out here. Yeah, we get to see which Mega he is if he stays in. He doesn't really have a switch, and he's out. Why? Okay. So I can just go to my heat turn here, right? I actually faced the earthquakes out way earlier. See so fire blast instead of focus blasting, which I'm surprised by. Um, so yeah, just magma. Actually, no, no, no. We can go on a Coco here, actually. Yeah, I can go Coco here on the Focus Blast. Oof, HP ground. Ooh, Sugarberry, it's lit. They did a lot though. So now I expect them to go into Excadrill. Um, so we're gonna double into Medichem here. As uh, so we get the play correct, he goes T down, but that works. Like a pretty good drill. Now he said plays. <laughs> um, while I'm added, shoutouts to my um, Discord, the Den Chat. You people know who you are if you're watching. Also, high jump kick is pretty free here as long as I connect. I've been missing a lot of high jump kicks, so I pray to God that I can hit. Nice. Now, Bulu isn't necessarily... I mean, it's nice for a Greninja. But I don't think it's that necessary to be at full, so I'm gonna go Bulu. Um, he Calm Minds and just Horn Leech here. That's gonna hurt, obviously. But yeah. Yeah, shoutouts especially to my man Sama. What, what was I gonna say? Yeah, what's your favorite mon? Uh, I guess you can leave a comment down below. If I like that mon, I might build with it. So I think he's gonna focus blast uh, this time. I'm still gonna go Heatran. Because focus blast can miss and he doesn't even go for that. Now I will just magma storm this time as he... HP grounds, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I said focus blast. He already confirmed HP ground. But he just dies because I'm flash fire boosted even though I'm splash run. Yeah, you guys could see I was able to eat up the HP ground. Now... I don't know if this is Ash. But yeah, I'm just gonna hit Bolo here in case he's Ash. So he spikes and he's not Ash. So now I'm gonna scout for either Gunshot or Ice Beam. And we're gonna go into Blastathlon as that can eat up a Gunshot and the Ice Beam. Uh, so hopefully no freeze. Nice. So the Tita's in the back. Uh, my double into Medi is obvious, but I'm gonna make the double into Medi anyway. Actually, he could have been Sash. That was a misplay on my part. Yeah, he's probably Sash, so that was a misplay on my part, but it's whatever, it's whatever. I don't think he can kill me because he's not life up. I could, I should have just gone for, um, I think I should have just gone for, like, Shadow Ball there. So he goes T-Tar here, which is fine. We get a kill with High Jump Kick as long as we connect. Uh, he's Sash? He's Sash, yeah. We don't have, wait, hey, hey that's the sand. Nice, amazing. So it's looking clean, it's looking clean. He goes into November. We're going to save this. We're going to land over here. I don't care if he has, like... Um, ice something? Okay, that does nothing. Uh, we just... Defog. I mean, it doesn't matter what I do, I think. And... He could be choiced. I'm gonna keep this around to get an intimidate on the drill. Um, okay. I think he's gonna SD here. Or Iron Head, so I'm just gonna uh, map my storm. Hopefully I connect this one as we do. Nice! So this is actually the first game today where I hit all my moves. And he just forfeits. As we like mid 1500 has been not high at all, but it's fine. This team is actually quite fun. But yeah, besides the rain measure, which is super frustrating. Um, yeah, I will go into detail about the team as we go on. This life will be a bit shorter as it's 3 a.m. and we're testing this team for like 30 minutes now. Um, okay, looking at his team, could be Mega Larias and then either Scarf Lele or Scarf Katana and Mega uh, and Z Move Guard Chomp. It's my it's what I'm thinking here. Uh, depending on the heat turn, if the heat turn is offensive, then Megina could be AV. But yeah, I would guess that he's gonna leave with like Lele or something like that. Mm. I think Bulu is a pretty good, nice lead overall. Um, so what I'm gonna go here is uh, Scarf for Poison Jab, which is not common. But I'm still gonna scout for it. Like if if he's he's either gonna go to Kartana Heatran, Magiana, or he's gonna poison jab. Uh, Lando covers pretty much all options, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, and my Lando's HP fire, I haven't talked about that yet. It's for the Katana matchup, which can be quite frustrating to deal with Katana. Because I'll speed uh, Scarf Blade, right? And I give them Grassy Terrain so they can Oko me with Leaf Blade. If, even if they don't have knockoff, the Leaf Blade has a chance to Oko Blaze. Because Blaze has like Frail. Uh, it's Shuka Coco to deal with uh, Pinsir. Habs vs. Lando, and it's nice for the Halucha matchup. Because it has some HP investment, has Roost to stay uh, healthy, which is pretty cool. Uh, Medicham, I change it to Thunder Punch. Um, to make the rain matchup a little a little bit better at least because um, I used to high jump kick the Pelipper predicting them to pivot into Swampert on my Thunder Punch, but then they never made that play for some reason They always try to sack their Pelipper turn one um, and then eventually I changed to Thunder Punch Which is nice with electric to run boost um, versus the clef matchup um, It's obviously better to have uh, Than have because it has a chance to do it Geo clef I think but T punch is nice. Was well, like, I guess stall. You can like T punch electric like, turn, try to do it kill Saber. Like Saber runs to death, right? Now, on the off chance that he has, um, that he stays in, I'm gonna off quake here as he toxics me, and that does a lot, right? So now he's probably gonna um, switch to his Ladi here. I'm gonna use on, which is quite risky, but we get the play correct, and. We can uh, go into Blaze here. Actually, we don't know confirmed if this is Scarf. This should be Mega, but I don't want to risk anything. Uh, yeah, we're just going to Heat Drain, actually, which is the best play, and just get up Hazards. Yeah, that's the best play for sure. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm trying to make some mid guns basically. You guys could see turn one and broke out perfectly. The Bulu covered oh, pretty much. The Lando play pretty much covered all options. He's a common lad, yes, which is super scary. What the fuck? Uh, I might just get six sold by this because I don't have toxic on my heat train. So I, I notes are taken, I need notes taken, I need oh yeah surf. That sucks. Notes taken, I need toxic on my heat train. Now I go to Bulu here and go for nature's madness. Stall powder's nothing. Oof, there's a huge threat. I uh, hope that does the taunt run out next turn. Nice okay he doesn't say in. It's a huge threat. Um I don't necessarily need this mon, but it's nice to have. But I think he's gonna rock here, so I'm gonna super power. As he off powers, predicting, trying to predict my heat run. Um, I would never go hard into heat run because heat run is nice for Lele, even though it already took damage. Yeah, that that was a questionable play on my part. But I can, I think I can live a magma because I'm AV, right? Now, I think he's gonna SD here. I kind of wanna go hard, Coco. Nah, 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 we'll just Lando here, as he goes for rocks, kkk. Now, I don't know if I want rocks up, actually rocks are quite annoying, so I think I'm gonna defog SDs, which is a... I don't like that play, but it worked for him. Now, we're gonna hard Coco here, because I'm gonna predict the Z Outrage, so he just gets the rocks up. Now, I don't know if I can live the Earthquake, because he's at plus one, I don't think I can. Um, that sucks. Tapu, Coco, custom set. Where you at, my man? Where you at? But I've got a plus one. Has a high, a good chance to kill me. Um, so a thirty-seven percent chance to kill me. So we HP ice here. It's, oh, he scouted for specs, which is understandable. Now we could get some chip on the beginning. I obviously couldn't play around with a plus one guard jump. I'm expecting him to go for ice beam or flur cannon here, which is why I go on a heat run. Get the play correct. And he is probably gonna go on a guard from. We'll just Magma Storm though. He goes on the Ladi as. <sighs> that was super important to hit. And this puts me in a really bad position. This Ladi is a huge problem for me. I don't know what to do now, actually, if I'm being honest. Because I needed that chip on Ladi to keep it kind of low. Now he's just gonna recover. Um, I don't know how to beat this Mon. I'm um, a hard blaze here and I'm a fire blast spirit in the Megiana. Yeah, fire blast spirit in the Megiana because Shadow Ball is quite obvious. Um, uh, he should not stay in because this Mon kind of just wins the game for him. And I don't know if he knows if I'm Scarf yet. Goes Megiana, we get the prediction correct, we hit, nice. Now, I really want to go land or receive the new Volt Switch, so. We get the play correct, we get the defog off. He can stay in and kill me, but I need rocks gonna feel. 
Like Roxa is super annoying. Obviously good play by him staying in, I guess. Now he vaulted, so bad play on him. Uh, we're gonna U-turn here. Even if he vaults again. I don't wanna let the Ladi in for free, because the Ladi is a huge threat, so nice. Now... We can blaze here and Shadow Ball. So this worked out perfectly. I feel like he misplayed heavily. Like, this is a really good matchup for him. So this is gonna two hit KO. And being locked into Shadow Ball means he cannot set up with Lari, which is what we want. Uh, he's pretty much forced to Scarf Kartana here. Or Sash Jump. So this Kartana comes out, which means he's gonna go for a knockoff or Leaf Blade. I don't know if Leaf Blade kills. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go Heat Turn here. Uh, Lando here. Smart Strikes, which is odd. I guess he tried to predict my Bulu. Now. I don't know if he's gonna see. I don't know if he's gonna see the HP fire coming, but he's either gonna go to Lari. He's oh, he's gonna smart strike again. Let me th let me try to make a play that covers all options. I don't think I have a play that covers all options, but I'm gonna U-turn. I, like I could have HP fired and killed this, but I don't want the Lari to come in, which is why I made the play I made. And now I can pretty much go in the blaze and click Shadow Ball and get a kill because uh, smart strike. From Cartana, I'm pretty sure does not kill Blacephalon uh, from the range I'm at. It does a lot, but it doesn't kill. It does 49 to 58. So we go Blacephalon, we click Shadow Ball, because we obviously don't want a Lari coming out. And that also does neutral damage to the other two mons, as we... That does nothing. 34? This guy is timid Cartana. This guy is timid Cartana. Nice unset. Uh, so he goes Lele. Um, which, unless he's Sash, he just dies here. I don't think he knows I'm Scarf, yeah. So we just put in work with Blacephalon. Amazing, amazing. And... I don't think he's Sash because he went to Lilith first, yeah. He should have gone to Garchomp first, which would have been potentially been able to live on. Uh, GG, my man. So cool, we're able to pull this off. This was a tough matchup for sure. Um, so I found out another weakness of my team, Megaladius. Notes taken, notes taken. Um, pretty much... Yeah, if you guys know, I will post the team in the description. If you guys know how to fix the weaknesses, let me know. Um, one weakness is Heat is super annoying for this team. And as we face Ultra Ball's team, which is the RMT that my man Avon and BTB used to peak number one on the ladder, uh, which is actually super scary to fight against. Um. <laughs> Coco is a great matchup, though. Great lead matchup, amazing lead matchup, actually. He does not have. Besides Alakazam, I don't think he has a great lead versus um, Coco. I was trying to say something, I forgot. Yeah, basically, besides the Kyurem weakness, but you can check Kyurem, Medicham, and t is with death. So, like, off port to it doesn't Oko. And you can get some chip damage. Now, he's gonna go to Gear Orlando here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a Volt Switch. As he goes to Gear, so we get to play correct. Nice. You get a crit, which is uh, unfortunate. But. Um, I don't know what this guy wants that happens. I've been getting hexed all day. Stop complaining. Fucking deal with it or go play Digimon. This is Pokemon. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm mad. I'm sorry. Um, basically, I'll go Medi here and click Ice Punch because I just, um, I just play these teams super aggressive. And I know he wants to get helmet damage on me. Magina dies to, yeah, he's bad. He's bad. Magina dies to high jump kick. Um, maybe if he predicted me, cool play. Props to him. Um, yeah, I guess props to him if he predicted that. If not, he's bad. Because uh, HJK would have just killed him there. So that was, uh, I guess, unnecessarily aggressive on my end. Now... We go to this here and... We actually Magma Storm and destroy something, as long as we don't miss. Alakazam is not Megad yet. Uh, which is pretty important, because if it's Megad, it can switch it on Magma Storm and trace Flash Fire. But yeah, losing Medicham early sucked. Medicham pretty much got kills left and right as he lives. That sucks so much. And he hits Focus Blast. Why did he change it to Focus Blast? That's some unset. Because uh, Heejun being chipped. Heejun being chipped sucks. Because now Alakazam and Lele over can overpower me easier. But I have AV Bulu to check those as well. But yeah, it's a common Z move, Lele. Okay, Goku Ninja. Mm, I think he's gonna spike here. But on the off chance he doesn't, I'm just... Yeah, really bad play in my opinion on his part. He should have spiked there. Um, but yeah, I figured he would make some hard-ass plays. That's why I made this play. Now, Katana Orlando is going to come out here. Um, 
So we can go back to Heatran here on the Kartana. No, this is Scarf. Um, so he's either gonna see, yeah, he's, I'm gonna go with Cephalon here, scouting for the for the Sacred Sword. Nice. Now, um, I would imagine that he would go Greninja. Um, how could I predict that? I could double back to Bulu. Uh, I might just Fire Blast here. Because Greninja, if I connect this, nice. Get some clean damage off. Uh, if Grassy Demon wasn't up, I had a chance to tweet KO him. And you're gonna go Bulu as he goes for Ice Beam. Good play. Now. I'm gonna go back to Blaze. Actually, I think he's gonna double here. I can't afford to give him Ash, but. Okay, so Coco covers all options, I think. Um. Does T-Bolt Oko? I don't think it does because I'm a bulky Coco. I mean, losing Manicham sucked early. Uh, oh, Coco. Co co custom set. But yeah, my man, custom set. I know I put you here somewhere. T-Bolt doesn't Oko. Hmm. Okay, I Volt Switch. He knocks me, so that works out pretty nicely. I don't think I need my Shuka in this match. He knocks, he knocks, he knocks. Um. As he says, Alameo. Um, so we can either go to like, yeah. Actually, I should have gone to Lando there. I should have gone to Lando there always. But yeah, we're just going to U-turn here. Actually, no, 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 no. I think he's going to go to his own Lando. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So what we're going to do is... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to Bulo here predicting his lander is. And we're just gonna horn leech. Yeah. As we get some health back. Now mm, I wanna super power here on a Kartana switch. Um but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna super power here on the Kartana switch here. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Like, I know I've been like playing. Some some of my plays have been a bit questionable. This guy has been LMAOing at me, but I don't really care. Like, it's 3 30 a.m. I don't know what this guy wants. So. This is a huge threat. Uh, he turned here. So, this is Z move Lele. Uh, which puts me in a bad spot. I think I have to Magma Storm and hit. Because I need some damage to get this in range from uh, Shadow Ball, right? So, like, Spadeftron versus Top of Lele. Uh, he's plus one. Magma Storm. Uh, 28. And how much does Shadow Ball do from. Plus Cephalon. Does do enough, so I just have to connect this magma and I'm fine. <sighs> As we miss. Now I know he's gonna Z move here and I can't do anything about it. He's just gonna kill me. Um, I needed that to hit. How much did off power do? Off power wouldn't have done enough. I had to hit that. Um. Yeah, I, like I couldn't have done anything. I just needed that to hit. Um. No. If I set my Coco and then go into Blaze. Uh, I think I'll lose this game. I needed that to hit and then I was in a fine position, I think. Uh, just t bolt here to get some chip. Now we go Blaze and Shadow Ball. But yeah, you can fuck me up with this Greninja now pretty badly, actually. Yeah. That meant we miss sucked. So he sucks Lando. I mean, he doesn't suck it yet, but it's gonna get too KO'd. That actually did nothing. Um, this might actually kill because I'm a plus one. So we might have to go for Water Shuriken here and bank on getting a lot of hits. Uh, 
Go ninja, go ninja, go ninja. Plus one shadow ball. That's fifty. So it doesn't kill. Fuck. Uh, so if he knows that it doesn't kill, he should go for hydro pump. But he does. What dark bolts? There was no play. Um, I, yeah, that, yeah, that was a play. It was a play. I get it. Um, but yeah, now we haul each, and as long as we don't get flinched, we're in a fine position, and we get flinched. That sucks because I would have had some extra health on my Bulu, which might have been, made me live a side shock. I'm pretty sure I don't live now. Wait, I, don't, I just win with Shadow Ball. What am I saying? Nice, it's lit. Um, I'm tempted to just end the recording here because oh, I've been getting hexed a lot and stuff. I get, I get one more for you guys. Um, I get one more for you guys, but I'm gonna keep this really short. But yeah, Whew. it's lit. It's lit. We are 1588 if I thought it correct, which we are, we are super low. But did I say at the beginning of the I don't know. We got rain. I should have ended it when I could have. I should have ended it when I could have because the rain matchup is pretty bad. Uh, the rain matchup is actually super bad. I can hope that he sacks his Pelipper turn one like they all do. Now, this might be protect Ferrothorn. Um. He's either gonna go to Pelipper or he's gonna protect here, or he might be Chubble Berry, or like whatever the Fighting Resist Berry is called. So I don't, I don't really have a play that covers all options, I'm just gonna high jump kick. I, like, I don't wanna double and then he stays in, then I'm in a shit position. Um, I expect either the Chubble or the Protect, but I'm still gonna make this play. Um, pretty much my Bulu is super important in this game, because if it takes any chip damage, Shumper destroys me. Uh, yeah, like. Like I said, if you guys know how to fix this, please let me know. I feel like I played that last game pretty well, though, besides, like, a few turns. I don't know what this guy was LMAOing at me. Like, I understand that I made, like, one or two, like, weird plays. But, like, I, I know, like, you have to understand that I knew every single set on this guy's team. And, like, I know how to get into people's heads. Hopefully, if I don't, if I miss this, I'm out. If I miss this, I'm out. Phew. Okay, now, high jump kick again is the play here, as long as I hit. Usually, I miss, though, when I try to go for it again. But it's definitely the play to go for it again. Thank the fucking lord, we can win this. We get rid of the Ferrothorn early, amazing. So we just have to be careful that we don't lose to Swamp Bird. Um, we have Coco for this Halducha. Uh, nice, nice, nice. We just have to get Rocks up to pressure the Pelipper a bit. But it's, it's still a tough matchup. So now I feel like he's gonna like Volt here. Um, this could be Z-move, so I don't wanna go into my Bulu and get weakened. Um, I feel like Heatron is the play, because Heatron doesn't do much in this matchup. See wild charges, which is questionable. Now I will go Landris here because no one HP is this turn. I mean he might if he's a wild beast, but he might also go for Gigavolt Havoc. Um Havoc. So he just goes for that. Now I might U-turn here. Actually, he's either gonna HP Ice or he's gonna go Pelipper. HP Ice or Pelipper, HP Ice or Pelipper. I think Medicham is a good play. It covers the Pelipper and it covers the HP Ice. If I U-turn, it would have been better. I heavily disagree with his play, but it worked for him. What can I say? If I U-turn there, I would have gotten a lot of momentum. I think I should have actually U-turned. Now that I think about it, I had no reason not to U-turn, but it happened. It's like, I have Lando, which I can sack, but the next time Perth comes in and run, I'm in a bad position. But yeah, ch fake out chip damage is what I need because Blaze Shadow Bolt is like 50-ish to Perth, so I need to get this in range. But yeah, the last game was pretty cool overall. Like, besides the one play where he stayed in McGee. Like, he stayed with McGee on a Medicham, then he said LMAO when I made some weird play that were predicted. Um, so, what a fortuit chaos. He has no. Re he should Ice Punch because it covers the Bulu. Um, but I think I just have to sack this. Yeah. Now, I go Medi and I click High Jump Kick here. Now, I go Medi and. Yeah, I go High Jump Kick here and I get a kill. And the problem is next time Swampert comes in. Uh, let me run the cult before I click this. If if he lives, I'm gonna be mad. I mean, he's intimidated, so I don't think he can kill me back. So it's the play, no matter what. Uh, okay, it's a roll in my favor. Heavily in my favor. So I just... I mean, he's not gonna stay in if he has a brain. I think he's gonna go Coco or Sack his Mmm. Yeah, I think he's gonna go Coco. Oh, losing Lando sucks a lot though, but I just couldn't... Oh, I don't know. Please connect. If I miss this, I'm out. 
Because in this matchup, if I miss... I mean, it would have started a rain turn, but still. Yeah, it would have started a rain turn, which would have been cool, I guess. But then, no, no, no. If, if I missed, he could have switched out and kept it and reset the rain. Yeah, I've missed a lot of today. I don't know why this guy is complaining. Like, I don't know why people think it's hacks when I hit my high jump kicks. Uh, so I think I would throw my heat tune in. Like, this is a tough matchup for me anyways. Uh, I can still easily lose to Swampert. Swampert is, like, over gonna overroll me. He still has six turns left. Uh, he has King Draw, which is, a, in my opinion, a bad play. What? What do you mean you want me lucky? Dude, yeah, dude, you don't know how much I've missed. Oh, he crits me. There you go. There you have your luck. But you're only just free. I want health back. Um, pretty bad play in my opinion going Coco. Because yeah, that's just what I want health back. If he's... Huh. I think I'm gonna switch here because I need health on this for the part. Like I actually have to be really careful. Um, I don't wanna let this take a Gigavolt Havoc or anything like this. Actually, Rain is gonna run out soon. So Pert is not even that big of a deal. But yeah, this is fine. Um, now we get the terrain up, which means he cannot go Lucha. We just click Horn Leech. And he can't do anything. If he goes hard Lucha, he doesn't have his seed up. And even if his Lucha is in with the seed, um, I still can just... Um, as long as he doesn't freeze me here, I'm in a good position. Please, Lord, don't freeze me. Please, please, of fucking... Thank you, thank you. I, fro I thought out, thank the fucking Jesus, Lord. If I didn't thaw out there... Um, the life would have ended right there, I can tell you, because I've been getting hexed so much today and I just can't stand it anymore. Um, this guy is, of course... Uh, so, like, technically, I need health on this to kick an Ice Punch on Pert, which is like 70 to this, but I'm not even, like, I'm already in range of it. The reason why I could afford to let this take damage is because he already lost his Swamper, uh, his Pelipper, which means he cannot get Rain up. I, I still have to consider Rain Dance. Rain Dance only has five turns, though, so I can fake out and stall it out, kind of, kind of. Yeah, I could still lose to that. So, I could see him going hard, Halucha. Are uh, you turning into that? So, I will... No, no, Honey is always the play here, yeah. It crits me. Oh, okay, that doesn't matter. We don't, we don't need health on this. Uh, my play here is always hard Coco on his Halucha and on then t -bold. If he... If he, um... Has Poison Jab, I can still lose this game. Um, yeah, but I have, I have to hard Coco here. And please don't have Poison Jab. Actually, don't know if Poison Jab would kill me. Nice. So now we just win um, with Shadow Ball into with Fake Out and Shadow Ball. So thank you guys for watching. We reached the 1600s, which is not high at all. But finally, the team was able to put in a lot of work um, in test games. It also put in work. Well, yeah, like I said earlier, oh, I don't know if I mentioned everything, but I had like turns where I went from Lando into Greninja where I HJK put in the switch and I missed. Um, drop some suggestions in the comments what mons you want me to build with or what's your favorite mons. And SPL is around the corner. I still have some tournament games from Snake that I... Um, some I have to re narrate, some I have in the bag. But yeah, like that... I kind of lost my motivation to like narrate all the games. This was just refreshing. Even though it's 3 a.m. I just felt like I had to like do a live. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what this noise is... Um, I'm playing around with my like um, nail, nail clipper. Is that the correct term? Nail clipper? Yeah, I have, I have a bad habit, is that correct? I hope that's correct English. I have a bad habit to play around with things in my hands. Otherwise I get like, I don't know, when like something's on my table, I just grab it and like play around with it. <laughs> but yeah, the team is gonna be a description, like I said, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, it was built quite quickly. Let, let me talk a bit about changes that I made to the team. Basically the first version um, I had um, is this version here. Uh, this version had a Jirachi and a Tyranitar. So this version was weak to Pinsir. So I put Coco with um, Sugarberry for Pinsir and for Halucha. And losing Tyranitar meant I was super weak to um, Blacephalon. So I had to add a Spadeftran. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the live. And yeah, stay tuned for more future content. And it's 3.50 a.m. God fucking God, what have I been doing? Um, but yeah, I'm glad that this team worked out. If, like, this is not a team, that, as Jermatt would say, this is not a team that you just take and win every game. This is a team where you have to, like, quite think about your plays. Uh, I did not play optimal in every game, but it worked out overall. 
And I was happy that Blaze could put in some work. I'm still deciding whether to put Medicham or Blaze in the thumbnail. They both put in work. Um, I would probably go with Blacephalon, but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, have, a, have, you, have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you guys for watching, if you're still watching my render at the end. <laughs> and shouts to my nail clipper. And goodbye, friends.